Okay, for number 32, it's, again, a, another maddening question for some students. I always look around for something, and let me just see if I can use an identity over here. So secant, let's see, squared x. And then what do you get? You get 1. I should, I, secant squared is going to be 1 plus tangent squared. Sorry about that. And that's dx. All right. And kind of looking at that now, I guess I got to look at something, right? And looking at that, does that help me at all? I think it does. And I'm going to put this down there. I'm going to say u is equal to tangent of x. This is a u substitution now. And du would equal secant squared x dx. Well, let me write that down. I think I'm seeing that. I do see it. And it's going to be 1 plus u squared du, which is substantially easier integration to do. What do I get over here? Let's write this down. This will be equal to, uh, let's say, u plus u cubed <clears throat> over 3 plus some constant of integration. Let me go back to the land of x's. <clears throat> Tan x plus tangent cubed. over 3 plus some constant of integration. Now, granted, I guess we could pull those terms together. It really doesn't add much to the problem. Let me just look at the k. And this is something on a multiple choice exam you want to be able to do, is look at a, the answers that are listed and see if there's one there for you. Let's like look at it. And I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it right over here. The tangent of x, I see that. The next term I see is tangent cubed of x over 3, and then the constant c over there. Things are looking good. Thank you.